What is up everybody? I am Quispy and today we are back here with another Madden 21 video and we are starting our franchise rebuild videos or, or series I mean and we are starting with the New York Jets. Actually no, this is the uh, this is the um what am I trying to say? This is the one that we play every game, you know. This is where we actually try to rebuild this team to be a superstar Super Bowl team and whatnot. But without further ado, we will we will see our roster here. As we have Sam Darnold at our quarterback position. Joe Flacco behind him. They just got signed this past all season. And then we have Le'Veon Bell at our uh, running back, 87 overall. Former with the Steelers, but held out of contract year and then we have Jamison Crowder, Chris Hogan, Brashad Perryman who actually I'm gonna put over Chris Hogan um, because I just like Brashad Perryman a lot better I think he's gonna be a lot more productive uh, wide receiver than Chris Hogan even in real life so I just think that's that, that's, that, that's how it's gonna be and uh, we have the O-line here a little a uh, little rusty here a little uh, bad but we also have Ryan Griffin, Chris Herndon who I'm actually going to put over Ryan Griffin. And um, we also have Trey Westco. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Trevin Westco. But um, we also have the O-line here. Which is, uh, it's it's not the best. It's not good. We have the rookie Makai Becton here. Who is actually going to keep starting for us. We have, uh, who is this? Alex Lewis at the left guard spot. We have Connor McGovern at center. Who I think we did, didn't they sign... I think they signed in the offseason. Uh, Greg Van Rotten. I'm, I am. Yeah, Greg Van Rotten. And then we have George Fant. George Fant. I was right. Um, yeah, right guard and right tackle are definitely going to things going to be things that we need to work on. But I think we could probably get these guys. He's a no. Nah, he's 28. Over, no, nah, he's 28. Yeah, I think O line just needs to be rebuilt in general. Uh, McGovern, I think he can stay at the center for maybe another year or two. But we definitely need to look to rebuild this whole O-line. Mekhi Becton's going to stay. He's going to develop. But um, the defense, the defense is very, very something here. So we all know that Jamal Adams got traded just three weeks ago. He went to the Seahawks. In that trade was also with Brad Bradley McDougald. But we also get the Seahawks first round pick that could, that's going to be a high pick this year no matter what because the, the Seahawks are in win now mode most likely and even in this game they're probably going to be in the the, the, the the high 20s probably like 28 29 maybe even 32 if they win the Super Bowl but they also have uh, Avery Williamson Patrick uh, Anwusa Patrick Anwusor, Anwusor, I don't know. Uh, Jordan Jenkins, I was not going to say Janoris, I know who Janoris Jenkins is, okay. Tyler Basham, Quinton Williams, Sean McLendon, Henry Anderson, Brian Poole, Paul Desir, I uh, don't know who that is. Uh, Quincy Wilson. But, it's a it's an alright defense, it's the best thing we've got on the, on the team, it's an 80 overall defense, 75 overall offense. Some of these guys, we, we might want to go look and trade. People maybe like, uh... Marcus May? Nah. Maybe not Marcus May. I think if we had to do someone on the defense, it would probably be... Sean McLendon? Or Steve McLendon, sorry. Steve McLendon or Henry Anderson. Don't know. Maybe we'll just keep this the same. I don't think we're going to trade anyone on the defense. Offensively, uh, it's Kalen Balaj went back to the to the Dolphins. So either we can get we can put him back or we just release him. I think we're just going to release him though. There. We got we don't we don't even get money back for it, so it's fine. But um we could look to trade Frank Gore, we could look to trade Le'Veon Bell. They're all replaceable. No matter what, we can look to trade Chris Hogan. We can look to trade, see if we can get trade bait for Joe Flacco. It's just any of these guys that can be used for trade, I can I can probably use. So, with that, uh, special teams also is uh, 
Brett Maher? Brett Maher, yep. Uh, don't know who this is, some rookie Braden man. For some reason, it's a 70 overall. But, there's a lot of things that we need to go over with this team. We need to upgrade the players, and there is no preseason in real life, so there's no preseason now. We're not going to do preseason, we're going to go straight into the first week. So jump to the regular season. We're not going to play week one until the next episode. I just want this thing to be like a, a roster review, what we're going to do, what we plan to do. And um, maybe even put a trade in here real quick, but um, that's, I don't plan on doing anything else for this off season, or for, not for the off season, for this episode. So going back to the roster now, we do have a practice squad. It is now a 53-man roster instead of a 70, what, 373 man roster. So they now have a practice squad, but what I meant to do is actually look through all uh, m the important players here, like Sam Darnold. We're gonna look through all their stats and all that, what their uh, what their ratings are and all that. But with this, we're going to uh, put him up to uh, put him strong arm up, and we're gonna go up to a 74 overall. So that's good. And he's gonna get plus one awareness, plus one throw accuracy deep, and plus one throw accuracy medium. So let's gonna go ahead and look at his uh, his uh, ratings. He's got 88 throw power, not too bad, but also that's not gonna be the best when it comes to the deep threats. I think Brashad Perryman's a deep threat, even though he's more of a slot. But, um, that does not matter. I don't think we're going to be throwing deep anyways. It's most likely going to be... Firefighters or ambulance outside. But, um, I think the, the furthest we'll probably throw is like 20, 25 yards. And he'll probably get to that, but his deep accuracy is 83, his medium accuracy is 81, short accuracy is 86, uh, awareness is 78, throw on the run is 86, play action is 83, under pressure is 80, break sack is 66, speed is 78, acceleration 83, agility 81, uh, although, wow, he actually has a pretty good change of direction for, which is new here, it's a COD, his, uh, how, how fast he turns, how, make, how fast he makes turns and all that, the, uh, that's not too bad for a quarterback, honestly. His injury is 88, so he can get injured fairly easily, which which means we don't want him to get sacked at all because then we'll have to bring in Joe Flacco and all that, and we don't want that. So stamina is at 86, toughness is at 91. It's just something that we need to look for. He is a top 30 quarterback. He's number 26 ranked quarterback. If we can get him maybe top 15 by the end of this, the first season or maybe, maybe halfway, if we can get him top 15 at the halfway point, I'm gonna be very shocked. I think we, I think if we can, we get him to top. We'll get him to like number 24, number 23 by the by halfway, halfway through the season. But um, yeah. And then uh, we're gonna look at some other players like Le'Veon Bell, who I don't know about honestly. He's just, he's such a wild card. He was great with Pittsburgh, and then after his holdout year, after he wanted money, they just decided to let him go. Give him to the Jets, and um, I don't know. He's got 86 break tackle, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 95 agility, 88 carrying, 86 be uh, break ball carrying vision. Sorry, 87 trucking, 91 stiff arm, 91 juke move, 88 spin move. Uh, his change of direction is pretty pretty damn good at 92. His strength is 77. Catching 76. Short route 81. All that other stuff. His injury is at 86. Stamina is not 97, which is really good. His toughness is at 87. So, he's the number he's the number 11 ranked halfback. So he's almost the top 10 run, uh, running back, and I think we can get him to the top 10. But he is getting old. He is at 28 years old. I can we'll probably put him at we'll probably trade him away, like off season or if this is contract. Let me, let me see if this is contract year. I don't think it is though. Uh, da, 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 contract. Oh no, never mind. He's still got three years, and he's getting a lot of money. If we just trade him away, we won't have to. We don't have to lose so much money from him. I don't want to. Yeah, no, we're. He's definitely replaceable. In the off season, he's going to be definitely replaceable. So, I think the best point for him is just to be traded. We'll use Frank Gore this pet this. I think we're, we're going to trade Le'Veon Bell at the halfway point. That's something we're going to do. We're going to trade Le'Veon Bell at the halfway point. 
But people like Dra Jameson Crowder, Brashad Perryman. Uh, we also have Denzel Mims, who I actually might want to... I'm going to put him at slot. I'm not going to put him over Chris Hogan. But... Okay, we have to do something. We have to do in the death chart. We're, I'm going to put Denzel Mims at a uh, slot. He's a rookie. Very, very good rookie. I think the Jets made a good pick picking him up in what? The second round, was it? So, yeah. That was very. That was a very good pick for them. Denzel Mims is going to go in... F mm. Actually, keep Jamison Crowder. We'll put Denzel Mims over Chris Hogan. I just don't... I don't think Chris Hogan's going to be productive. I just don't think it's going to happen. In fact, we'll trade him. We'll trade Chris Hogan. He just doesn't seem like the right fit. We're going to trade him now. Because I just don't think he's going to be good. He's not going to be very productive for us. I don't think we don't... I don't think we need him at all. So we'll go ahead... Put Chris Hogan up. Uh, there he is, Chris Hogan. See who wants him. And I'll be back when we make the trade. Never mind, no one wants him. Um, I guess we can put someone else in there. We have a lot of depth in Josh Doxon as well, Josh Bellamy. But we definitely, I definitely want Denzel Mim to get reps in. So I want him to get some snaps in. So that's definitely something we're going to work on here. I'm just going to look through, see who we can probably just get rid of. I uh, don't know. That's a lot. Oh, it's Terrell Basham. Okay. Jordan Willis, maybe? I have no idea. This is something. Blake Cashman. I think he's actually going to... Frankie Louvu, maybe. Uh, Nathan Shepard. I think he's a backup DT though. Shh. Wait, when did we pick up? Oh, he's injured, isn't? He? Yeah, he's injured. That's right. Damien Harrison. Damien Harrison's injured. I'm pretty sure. Uh, who's this guy? The... Tukasi. I don't know. Uh, it... we'll. Uh, you know, we'll we'll skip over this. It's fine. We'll look to trade it later on. But um, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade these players. I'm just trying to kill some time, trying to make sure we know what's going on here. I am sad that, I mean, this is why I picked the, I picked the team because Jamal Adams got traded. I was like, Jamal Adams got traded. This team is basically like a bust. This team is going to be in the maybe like five wins th this this year. Oh wait, never mind. Damian Harrison, Damian Harrison's back. Okay. Okay. I might look to put this in a f uh, four three then. Yeah. I might look to put this in a 4-3 then. And, um... Wow. I just got news that Raiders released Prince of Mucamera. So maybe once this uh, roster gets updated and he's a free agent, um... We could probably look to sign him. Prince of Mucamera is fairly underrated. He's about... Well, he's, what, 27 years old? He's gonna digress, but... Signing him maybe just a one-year deal would do good for our cornerbacks. Prince of Mucamera would be a... Would be a fairly good corner to actually sign. So, um, yeah, um, Bradley McDougald, I'm surprised he's not star at least, but he's a 76 overall, he's what, 29 years old, he's not going to last long. We're going to look at his contract, I don't know how much he has left in him, he might just like, he has got one year, he signed a one year for a uh, four million dollar deal, that's, that was the trade, so. We're, he's not. We're not going to resign him. There's no way to. Re re there's no way we're going to resign him. He's just low. He's going to keep digressing. He's going to be like a 73 or something like that by the by the end of the season. Marcus May. Three years. He's 27 years old though, so we'll have him for another year or so. Brian Poole's still here. Brian Poole, I think, is young, isn't he? He's like 20, 24, 27. Never mind. I don't know people. So, uh, Quentin Williams. We're going to try to build around him, along with Brashad Perryman. Uh, Sam Darnold. I think we're going to try to get Sam Darnold to be a good QB. He's only been in the league for three years. Two years, sorry. So he's not hes not even coming up to contract year. Contract year is in the next two years. Yeah. He's getting paid just around $10 million each year. So there's nothing much we can do about Sam Darnold. We're just going to keep him and see if we can actually get him to be better. And I think we can. We'll just have to spend coach points and all that. So um yeah, it this is this is gonna be an all right team to to rebuild. There's nothing wrong with it really. 
there's a oh well, never mind. There's a lot of holes, especially O line. Uh, the defense needs a lot of work in the uh, the linebacker area and safeties and even corners a little bit because my P, uh, uh, Paul Desir or whatever is Pierre Desir, Pierre Desir. Sorry, he's 29 years old. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to think about looking for corners, free agency and draft. But running back is definitely something I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get to quickly because we're gonna be trading Le'Veon Bell away within the next few episodes. I just it's it's just imminent. Okay, it's just imminent that he's gonna get traded. He's got a lot of years left in him, and I don't want to have him anymore. He's just a he's just a walking bag of cash, and he, and we need to get rid of him. Okay, that's just about it. He he needs to go because we need the cap space. I don't want to release him. If we release him, I think we get a cap. We get a cap penalty. You will free. F yeah, we're gonna incur a 17 million dollar penalty. That is something we don't want. So, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That's not what we want. Whew. Oh yeah. So with that, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. I just want to be a quick run through of what we want to do for this. They got some practice, uh, practice squad players signed. I don't care. I think our goal for this season, our goal for this season, it's gonna be seven wins. Seven wins is what we want. I think seven wins is something we can do. If we don't, we don't. I don't think my guy is gonna get fired. It's it's just me. But I don't think we're, he's gonna get fired just from having a seven win season. We lost to the to the Eagles. I don't care. But with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Maybe free agents. I don't know. Is there any free agents? I, I keep like going on tangents. Terrell Suggs is in here. Adrian Peters is in the Antoine Bethea. Oh my God. Hold up. Give me a second. We're gonna sign Terrell Suggs. No. Will we? I don't think is he gonna be is he gonna go over Henry Anderson though I don't think he will they're both 79s I'm pretty sure oh he's a 70 we're gonna say throw Suggs we're gonna sign T Sizzle to a one year deal that's about it one year five mil that's fine Anton Bethea, he's he's just gonna stay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grab anybody else. I don't think we, sh we I don't think we can or should. I don't think we should. Everybody else is like a, a old so. But with that, oh yeah, we have to cut a player. That's fine. Uh, d d d d d d no, we're not getting rid of Joe Flacco. All right, everyone else. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of uh, Vincent Smith. Or we'll move into practice squad. There we go. Who knows? Oh well. We just went up to a 78 overall, though. We have a 70, 76 defense now and 81 offense. Or, 76 offense, 81 defense. Not bad. I'm not I'm not ashamed. This is a good, this this can be a good team. We got T-Sizzle now. So, now, with that, I will see you guys. God, Lord. <sighs> I will see you guys in the next episode. This is Crispy signing off. I'll see you guys with, uh, we're going to start our fantasy rebuild, our fantasy draft rebuild, probably in the next, uh, next Madden 21 video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Everyone stay safe, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.